Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this series of tutorials, I'm going to talk about regular expressions and how important they are, and I'm going to show you lots of examples and how to use them. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So first of all, what are regular expressions? Regular expressions are just patterns to match combination of characters or words in strings. So they are solely about manipulating strings. If you want to get a specific character or combination of characters in strings, if you want to extract them or find where they are and how frequently they happen, then the best choice is using regular expressions. And by the way, they are super powerful and you can do amazing things with them. And usually in JavaScript jobs and reviews, there will be a question or a couple of questions about regular expressions. So you need to have at least a basic understanding of regular expressions. So let's now start by uh, taking an example. So here, as you can see, we have here a string, just a simple string, which has two uh, sentences. This is most, I am a software um, developer, let's say dev. And this is my uh, channel. So this is just a simple sentence or a couple of sentences, a st uh, string. And we want to use regular expressions. Let's say that we want to use regular expressions to get this, to get this word, the this word in, uh, in these uh, sentences. So we have, we have how many th this? We have here one and we have another this. So regular expression will make you able to get uh, how many times this happened in these sentences. So first of all, I'm going to create here a, a regular or normal variable called reg x for regular expression. And it's going to be equal to reg x, which is the regular expression, a regular expression of constructor. And inside this constructor, it takes two parameters. The first one is the pattern, the pattern that will make you able to extract out the character or word that you want. And the second parameter is just a flag. And I'm going to talk, uh, talk about it shortly, but first let's use the pattern. In order to use the pattern, you need to first add slash starting and ending uh, slash and inside them, between them, you need to add your pattern. So the pattern, the simple pattern in order to extract out this is to type the word itself. So the word is just this, we want to get this. And then the second parameter is just a flag, which I'm gonna use the G flag, which is the global, which means that to match all occurrences of this in the, uh, in the string, if I don't use uh, the G flag, I will be able only to get the first this. And then in order to match or use this regular expression, we need to use a function called match or match all, which is a string function. So we need first to use the string, string, and then dot, we call the match function on it, and we pass our regular expression, which is reg expression. And then the result will, will be stored in, will be returned from this, from the match function. So here I'm gonna say var result, and equals, and let's also use the console to display the result, log, and then result. Now if I save and run, as you can see, I'm going to get this two times. So we have two times this has been used in this string. Of course, this pattern isn't always useful, but this is just a starting point because I, I just don't want to make everything overwhelming for you. 
and uh, let me just show you another pattern for now which is the square brackets if I add this inside a square bracket look what is going to happen if I save and run what's going to happen is that it's going to return all characters in this string that match these characters so that we we no longer get this instead we get any character any of these characters that happened in this string that has uh, been used in this string so if I remove this and add let's say I want to get a if I save and run I'm gonna get all a's that um, have been used in this character in this uh, string so we have here a at one and then we have here two we have here three and we have also here four and we have here five so this is just a starting point in the next tutorials i'm going to talk more about them and show you more advanced applications this is most thanks for watching i'll see you later